we have it very, very clear and pictured now that the unbelievers, nihilists, and atheists, I mean, the hardcore atheists, okay, they hate Christianity. And they want to push a separation between religion and society. They think religion is a threat to society because they want this perfect utopia. And there's many unbelievers that want that. That Christianity is the fault for the decline of society. That Christianity is at fault for promoting evil in the world. Christianity is at fault for promoting annihilation. But in reality, when you look at Christianity and you actually study the Old Testament, the wars that took place, why God commanded the Israelites to do such actions, you'll understand that it was the pagans, it was the unbelievers who were promoting evil, vile things. Incest, child sacrifice, sexual immorality with children. Rome to partook in a lot of those child acts. And there is no denying that too. The history of Rome is filled with perversions. The Roman Empire was filled with degrading women and children. Children you used as objects to please men. That is sexual immorality. When they were done, they would toss the children to the streets. When children were unwanted, they would toss the babies to the streets. Who were the ones that picked up those children and took them in and took care of them? It was the Christians. But because the world has this perverted view of Christianity and they want to get rid of it because we're not for this one world government, we're not for the immorality that is being promoted out in today's world, we're not for that, we're deemed as a threat. Because how democracies run, and you've seen this all the time now, Christians are a threat to democracy. Trump supporters are a threat to democracy. This is a democracy. We need to have a democracy, a democracy, democracy. Democracies, the mob rules. A democracy runs on the interests of the majority. So if the majority voted one day that rape and murder is okay, guess what? It is now okay. It is now morally right and acceptable. True freedom and democracy do not work together. Freedom has laws, but those laws have to be unchanging. If those laws can change, depending on the majority of the vote, it is not freedom. It is mob rule. It's chaos. You can't have it. Freedom has consistent laws that abide by human nature. Your property, your rights, your children, your family. If mob rule can vote that they can take away your children because you don't want to change them you no longer have freedom you have a dictatorship if you can't decide what your children know and learn and you can't teach them about christianity and about god and the government all of a sudden pulls the vote and the majority votes on that oh well those people are a threat to society we have to put all those people in jail you no longer have freedom you have a dictatorship and i think nowadays you can see how crazy the democrats and liberals are getting have you seen the videos out very small percentage but it's a it's a, it's a percentage of people who are going to make the biggest difference because the Christian community remains silent. We don't want to get involved in politics because we're afraid of it. We don't want to speak about the things that matter because we're afraid to go against the mob. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is Expounder. If you guys really enjoyed watching this video and the content you just saw, hit the link down below and it'll take you to my YouTube channel where you'll get way more content than just this video. Thank you all for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.